In a low-carb diet, the carbohydrate intake is limited to about 5 to 10 percent, such that protein and fats take precedence in one's eating habits, to be able to keep sated and avoid bouts of hunger. It is in maintaining that feeling of fullness that one is able to avoid craving for sweets, and this is a good reason for diabetics to adopt a diet that is low in carbohydrates to control their condition. Following this type of diet prevents excessive consumption of carbohydrates, which leads to higher levels of blood sugar. Diabetes is a condition in which the body is unable to properly take in starch and sugar. For a diet to work in favor of a diabetic, it has to be low in fat, high in fiber, and packed with minerals, vitamins, phytochemicals, and antioxidants. Keeping to the kinds of food with low glycemic index is also important. Foods that are permitted in low-carb diets are meat, poultry, eggs, cheese, fish, and some selected vegetables. Although some sources say that to eliminate carbohydrates altogether is not recommended for diabetics, as carbohydrates in the diet are vital, because they serve as the main resource of energy and nutrients within our bodies. In a diabetic's diet, carbohydrates in excessive amounts may be frowned at, but authorities recommend a daily dosage of not less than 130 grams. On the other hand, studies have shown that the low-carb diet caused no undesirable effects on the levels of insulin, glucose, blood pressure or cholesterol. It is also worthwhile to note that one can alter a diet according to his or her specific needs. In this regard, before following any diet, be sure to check with your physician to make sure you will be getting all the right nutrients that will help you control your condition. Doing so will also help you pinpoint areas of the regimen that you should alter for a more appropriate eating habit. The effects of limiting the amount of carbohydrates in your diet manifest as loss of weight due to a lesser calorie intake or the successful maintenance of your ideal weight. Remember that with weight loss, the body's blood sugar and insulin levels naturally improve. Even just a 10% weight loss is a substantial improvement towards being in better control of diabetes. Also, when weight loss is part of your goal of achieving better health to make your condition more bearable, then a carefully planned diet is best paired with an exercise routine that is easy enough to follow. Daily walks and a couple of dozen repetitions with free weights are good low-impact exercises you can adopt. Regular exercise doesn't only help combat diabetes, it also promotes a sense of well-being that helps you maintain the right attitude towards living a healthier life for good.